Hey guys, welcome to your um, uh, general reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your um, May 2023. This applies to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. We're just going to see what uh, the cards have to say, what comes up. So um, we're going to take a look and see what your guides, your angels, and your ancestors want you to know. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So Capricorn, tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn here. What does Capricorn's guides, angels, and ancestors want Capricorn to know? What does Capricorn's guides, angels, and ancestors want Capricorn to know for um, May 2023 for Capricorn? Okay, we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. We have the High Priestess. You guys are really tapped in right now to a higher state of consciousness, to your intuition, to your guides and your angels and your ancestors. It seems like you're gaining a lot of wisdom and knowledge from your guides and your angels and your ancestor, uh, ancestors at this time. Capricorn, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces Energy. We have the um, Hermit, Virgo Energy. Okay, hey, seems like you guys are doing a lot of self-work here, introspecting, self-reflecting. Uh, you know, I feel like, you, you know, there's an energy, you guys are tapping into your gifts right now. You know, this is all about self-love here. Finding harmony within oneself, finding balance within oneself here, you know. So, you know, I do feel like there's a lot of self-work that's happening here. And all these cards that's happening here, that's popped out, they're all major arcanas, okay. Justice, Libra energy. And wow, I mean, this so far, this is kind of leaving me a bit speechless here because there is an energy of you raising your consciousness and your vibration here and transcending a lot of like old habits or bad habits or old things, you know, or past hurt that you've experienced here, Capricorn. Okay, so tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? We have the Five of Pentacles, the High Priestess here, and the Seven of Swords. One of the things I'm getting here is that your um, fears, your, uh, your um, you know, uh, 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 insecurities, and, and, and uh, the tendency to self-sabotage, that is sort of coming, that is coming to an end here. Yeah, that is coming to an end. It's almost an energy of like becoming very self-aware of, of oneself here. The Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, the Hermit here. We have the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Lovers. And the Eight of Swords here. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you're overcoming your fears too. You know, I feel like, you know, this journey that you're on, you know, you might have found your soul tribe here where, you know, these individuals are supporting you on your journey here okay eight of swords three of pentacles here the justice card we have the uh death card scorpio energy the wheel of fortune here and the knight of pentacles wow this this is pretty darn spectacular because you know you're doing this for yourself capricorn you're doing this for nobody else but you're doing this for yourself you're changing, evolving as a person here. You know, you're going through this major, this astronomical rebirth here. It might have taken some time here. You know, it could be that you're taking your sweet old time. You're being methodical about it. Things are going really great. You guys are connecting with the divine, a higher power here. You guys are connecting with spirits. 
connecting with spirits on a different uh, a realm here in a different plane. There's a lot happening here. It seems like a, it's almost the energy that you're pursuing your life's purpose here, uh, Capricorn. Okay, could have been that you got you went through these struggles or these struggles really triggered that. All right, what else do we have for, for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know when it comes to their guides, angels, and ancestors here? What else does Capricorn need to know? 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 Six of Cups here and the uh, Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands here and the Eight of Wands. It's, wow. It seems like you're working on some past issues here that are coming up, you know, things that you've swept under the rug, things that you've never addressed. You are actively just working on yourself. You are actively, you know, just focusing on your goals here, trying to move on from things. I mean, you're receiving a lot of messages, a lot of messages here. You know, I just feel like, you know, during this time, you're doing a lot of releasing. And you're allowing that abundance to flood in with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Wands. So, you know, with the Tens here, yeah, there's a cycle that's closing out here. A, a, a long, arduous, difficult cycle is closing out here, okay? And it seems like things are getting, you know, becoming easier, becoming more effortless here, okay? Tell me about the Six of Cups. Five of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. One of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, any sort of unresolved conflict with the past, I feel like you're resolving that, okay? I feel like you're trying to fix that here, you know? And I feel like if it can't be fixed, you know, you're just, you're just okay with it. Yeah, you're just okay with it because it's just how it is. You're, you're just in this energy of not controlling how, what the outcome is going to be like, right? So you're just allowing things to be. Queen of Wands here. We have the Six of Pentacles, this uh, uh, Eight of Wands here, and a Page of Swords. It seems like you've learned a lot about yourself here. You know, I feel like all the energy that you've been using to, you know, to worry, you know, using all this energy to be in this like fear here, I just feel like you're releasing all that. You know, with the Page of Swords, I feel like you're reading a lot of books about spirituality here. Yeah, self help books. You know, personal growth and uh, uh, personal growth and spiritual growth books. Here, it's just you're learning a lot. You're you're absorbing all that energy and you're applying it to yourself. You know, there are certain people that, you know, there are some people that believe that they are on a spiritual path. You know, they read all this stuff. You know, but they're not applying it to themselves. Some people don't. Uh, because it is hard uh, you know it, 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 there's a difference in having all this knowledge but it, it, if you don't use it it's kind of like it doesn't mean diddly squat right so i just feel like you're just learning to apply this to yourself the ten of pentacles here the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo it's a ten of wands here and the emperor wow wow you're definitely maturing gaining control of your life here gaining control and not controlling you know controlling what you could control within yourself you know and not letting outside factors affect you here you know with the page of pentacles i feel like you could be getting a, a huge job offer where this this job offer is going to change your life uh, because we had to, it is clarifying the ten of pentacles here wow this reading is leaving me speechless. There are great things coming towards you and you're experiencing really great things right now here, uh, Capricorn. So I love this reading for you guys. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.